This is Lenovo Idea Center 3. It's a desktop PC from Lenovo. And today we're going to get into BIOS, change a couple of settings to enable the USB boot in UEFI environment. So as you can see here, this is my bootable Windows 10 thumb drive. If you do have Windows 10 or 11, the procedure would be the same. If you don't know how to create this bootable Windows installer, then you can check the video link would be in the description. So first of all, once you connect, the USB installer, you need to press the power button to turn it on and keep pressing F1 to get into BIOS for this model. Okay, sometimes that might change into escape button, so do F1 and then ESC to see. So that's the actual start menu details as you can see here. It says about the model number, ID, service tech, and all other details, but you don't need to change anything from here, you can just check. The machine details so we're going to get into device and check if there is any other settings there which is on the left hand side the second options okay and once it blue highlighted means you are in that option right you can use your keyboard or mouse cursor to select it by the way this is idea center 307 imv05 so once we're in the device we're going to set up usb setup Make sure both of them are enable. And um, AT drive setup has to be enable. And Intel rapid storage technology also you need to check. Non-RAID physical disk, that's the one, which is okay. We don't need to worry. That's going to be showed up into the system when you try to select the internal SSD or hard drive to put the windows in. So pretty much that's all here. Then we're going to go get into advanced option from here as you can see windows modern technology whatever it is leave it like that go to security try to find secure boot settings okay this is most important for it and rest of them you can leave it like that as you can see i'm gonna show you every single thing from here exactly like that and as you can see here secure boot make sure that is enabled if you'd like in legacy, you need to put it in disable mode. Remember it. So that's pretty fine from here. And now let's go to startup option. From here, we can check the primary boot sequence means the boot priority option. So if you click here, we're going to see the boot list. As you can see, it shows M.2 drive one is the first boot priority. So we're going to go down and I'm going to select my USB HDD as if primary boot so it's going to load up the windows when it reboot so what you need to do now we need to select first the usb hdd so use the down arrow and then once it's selected put the up arrow and it's going to take you directly on the top so it's exactly like that if you highlight it first and then if you press on plus button it's going to go up example like that and exactly like that and then if you press f10 it's going to save the changes and once you hit enter it's going to restart and load it up from the bootable windows 10 or 11 thumb drive well, the system is restarting if you see lenovo logo it means it's loading up something This is the Windows Setup page. So select whatever you need to select it. Hit Next. Install now. And then accept the terms and condition to go forward. Hit Next. And before you delete it, make sure you back up your data if you do have any sort of data, otherwise you're gonna lose everything. I'm just going to keep on single partition because I don't have anything in there, so I don't mind to lose the existing data. Now it's going to load up. It might take a few minutes, and then Windows setup would be done.
while it's restarting don't forget to change the boot priority option because we selected USB thumb drive as a fast boot priority so while it's restart is going to keep going to the same page so what are you going to do when the setup is done and system is restarting we're going to get into BIOS again and we're going to go to primary boot sequence from there we're going to change M.2 drive 1 which is SATA 2 here as a fast boot priority once you highlight it press the plus sign keep pressing it until it goes to the top and then save it and now it's going to restart from the internal hard drive or SSD so this is all about how to reboot your system almost for any model